can use the same color but in different shades. Everything looks really pretty. This is the the magic about mandala because the symmetry, the colors you pick, this is what makes the mandala look really pretty, simple or just like more your personality. So this is a good thing that you can play around. Okay, after you choose the colors of your mandalas, you can use a ruler. I don't use a ruler very often, but if you want to make something very, very precise, you can use the ruler to kind of calculate how much you use for each one of the colors and to find the, the center and different things. Um, I like to use, uh, just for practice, chopsticks from Japanese food. Yeah, this one is a little hard to break. <laughs> But I have one that's already broken, so it's just the same thing. And um, for this size, I use uh, almost the entire one. But since I want to make a smaller one for my car, I'm going to use half of this size. So I'm going to help you guys a, a quick trick for you to find the middle. Um, so you can, you can find it. So after you use your your barbecue sticks or your um, any kind of wooden stick you can just like measure so for example this one is a 21 centimeters so you just find like 10 and a half something but what I like to do I use the yarn itself so you can find the middle so for example you just hold whatever whenever you think it's good for example uh, here and then you hold it like this and then luckily I found the middle really easy So you just make a little mark and you know exactly where to break or where to cut You can use this tool If you're strong enough, you can just break it or if you have a really nice Scissors you can cut. I don't recommend using the scissors because you're gonna destroy your scissors and then um this one I have already broken, so this is going to be the size for to make the, my mandala for my car. So we're going to make something like this, which will be basically the size of this middle part. Okay, so after you have chosen your sizes, um, now you just need to choose between the sequence of yarn you want to make it. To make a little bit different, I'm going to start with blue and then use the similar shades and then put more details in blue. In blue. Uh, so let's start with the blue. And this is where we actually start building our God's eyes. So for people that don't know, Mandala Ojos de Dios comes from the Mexican culture. Uh, they give this as a protection and a way to wish good things in the life of a kid. So usually the grandparents, they, or the parents, they make a mandala like this for their kids. And every year they add another line of colors and they give it to the kid when they turn five. So it's very, very special, has a lot of symbolisms like it symbolizes the, the four elements of nature, so water, fire, wind, and earth, earth um, and also all the colors that I already talked. Okay, so here I made just a simple knot, just to put all the pieces together. We're gonna try to find the middle again, so we're gonna do the same trick. So I'm gonna hold here and then match. So if you see, it's a little bigger from one side, so I'm just gonna slide down a little bit. And then I will measure again. So here, maybe a little too much. Yeah. So just a little bit up. We're going to try to match again. So here and here. Perfect. So I found the middle. And um, so now that you found the middle, we're going to, I like to go around from one side of the line and from the other side of the line. This part, you need to be really firm because this is where we're going to find uh, the symmetry so if it's loose if you're not finding um, following the 90 degrees angle your mandala is not gonna look great it's gonna be like a little bit off center but everything is art but everything gets better with practice too so 
Don't be frustrated if your first mandala doesn't look like exactly like a square. Sometimes it can be like a little cricket and it's totally fine. So after you go around two times, we're gonna open like this and we're gonna make a little cross. Uh, and then from here, we're gonna make really firm as well. So try to not loosen your yarn. So we're gonna go two times from this diagonal and two times from this diagonal. So one and two, and then you hold from the other side, so you see? And then you're gonna do again, one and two. So after you do this, you're gonna see you have a little X in the middle. And from here, you can start waving your mandala. This movement you're gonna be doing for entire mandala, so uh, make sure that you're always pulling close to the end because this is gonna make this center really, really sturdy and you're not gonna have like these loose ends, you know? So you're gonna go around, so up and down. And then you go to the next stick, up and down. Oops, slide. So if you see, I'm not putting a lot of pressure I'm just like being firm and sliding towards the center. So up and down and slide to the center. Up and down and slide to the center. So if you see, it's already stirred enough. If yours is not like this, it's still loose, probably you need to slide towards the center a little bit more. Up and down, up and down. And here you kinda, is your taste you're already starting to build your mandala. So if you see, this mandala is really short and small, but this one I made a little bit bigger. So it all depends on the style you wanna make. I'm just gonna go around another few times, just to start seeing a little square in the middle. Whoops, sometimes it slides, very common. So, when I'm happy with the size, I want to start the mandala, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. Because for me, it's so zooming. So you can see a little square in the middle. This is the God's eyes. For you to get another color, I usually cut a, a big enough size. So I don't need to be like making really small knots. I turn around. I just make a little loop and I go inside and I pull it up. So very simple. You don't need to make any like more difficult knot because if you keep doing like an actual knot, you're gonna see this is gonna be really thick from the back. It's not gonna look so good. So we can, this is enough. Okay, now I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna use the other two colors. Uh, we're gonna make a little variation from this one if you notice i have a different uh, colors of squares this time i'm gonna make a little flower so i'm gonna start the flower with the brighter color and then i'm gonna use the darker color to make the outline for the the flower so we're gonna start like this and you choose one of the sizes you wanna you, one of the, the points you want to use and you make just a simple knot as well so you make a loop and you go inside just one like this it's enough you don't need to make anything more um, I'm gonna go around the, the blue one since this is the stick the, the side that I ended the blue, I'm gonna go around this little end so we can make it firmer. So for example, I'm gonna hold right here in the back and then I'm gonna go around to make it sure it's not gonna open once I, I'm done with the mandala. And here's where I started with the 10 colors. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold in the back and I'm gonna go around to wrap around my new uh, yarn. And I'm gonna do this a couple times, just because I wanna make a nice tan outline around the blue one. You see? 
something important about yarn as well uh, if you see I have two lines here two lines here two lines here and here just one so I know I'm gonna finish right here so all everything needs even and and symmetric so if I have two here I and we do the same thing we're gonna go to the back oh never mind let's do something else because I think it's gonna look cute uh, so okay we made we already learned the square knot with this one I just showed you that you go around up and down up and down up and down up and around up and around now we're gonna be using um, just these two sizes so we're gonna go up around and then you're gonna come to the back and instead of using instead of going to this next stick we're gonna jump skip this one go from behind and then we're gonna go to this one which is in front of the one I started and we're gonna go around the same thing instead of going to this one we're gonna skip and go to the one in the back so we're gonna be like back and forth back and forth this two just skipping this one this two for now because you're gonna see how nice it's gonna look so instead of going this way I'm gonna skip from behind and go to this side so instead of going to this one I'm gonna skip and go to the one in the back again a skip back from up and down skip and back skip and back and if you see all of them are kind of like going side by side so give this really cool eye look and we're gonna make the same thing from this two later as soon as I get to the size of the the flower I want so skip and then you go from the back skip and back and I think like this is nice because then we're gonna use the the darker color and I think it's gonna give a, give a really nice contrast and then uh, for us to move to these other two sticks you can either end here make a little knot cut and start over or me that I'm a little bit lazy when go to this I will just gonna uh, go to the back from here and hold it so I can use the same line and go in the same same two so we're gonna go around and skip this one that we already made and go to the one in the back skip this one and go to the one in the back skip and back skip and back skip and back and we're gonna make this until we get the same size so if this one is kind of like pinky for my I'm gonna go just one more just to make sure it's gonna be even okay right this is good okay now I'm gonna close this color because I'm gonna use the darker tan or orange I don't know which color is that it's kind of it's kind of clay color see if this bothers you you can cut right now so you can cut this parts that you're not gonna use for now just be careful to not cut anything extra and this is the last yarn I was using so this one I'm gonna keep a little longer because we can make the same thing so my darker yarn is gonna go around and make sure it's not gonna open okay is it ready starting to look like a flower okay I'm gonna choose one of the sides again I'm gonna start from here it doesn't matter for this specific medal you can start from any part you want 
Just make a, a simple knot and we're gonna do the same exactly thing. So since I wanna make the outlines of this flower, so I'm gonna do the same thing, like back and forth, back and forth. And then we're gonna switch and go back and forth, back and forth for this one. So, so instead of going this, that you can also do, is also part, but we're gonna skip this one and go to the back. So we skip this one and go to the back. So we're gonna wrap this one just so it gets, it doesn't come up. Let's keep one, skip, skip. There we go. Just make, gonna make just one more. There we go. Three for each side is perfect. And then I'm gonna hold in the back like this and we're gonna do the same exactly thing. So I'm gonna put the yarn in the back, oops, and then go around like this. So skip back, skip and go to the back. Skip and go to the back. Skip and back. Look, it's already starting to look as a as a flower. So we did three times. If you see, you can count one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Um, and you can make different things now. Um, we can get the blue and make a little square. I'm gonna use the same color and go around. So instead of like skipping, I'm gonna use the same wood. So now we're gonna close the flower. And we're gonna start building a square knot again. I'm gonna do three times for each one of the colors just so it gets a really nice and thick outline. So we have two of each side, so I'm gonna make just one more from each side. And we are done here. So we're gonna turn back, cut a little piece, just go around and in the middle like this. You can cut all the rest that you're not using right now just because I don't like People like some people like to cut everything in the end is very satisfying I'm just gonna leave the last one so I can put the next yarn on top of it um, now I'm gonna get the 10 again and I'm gonna finish with the blue so choose any one of the sides just make a little knot Mm-hmm. Oops, thanks so. Then we're gonna go around two to make a square. So up and around up and around up and around up and around. So I have two on each side. I'm gonna make one more to make it three. Just so it looks a little bit thicker. Usually when you see the, the yarn from the same color is where you started. So you always finish whenever you start. So you keep the symmetry. Uh, so I'm gonna close this one. And we can cut all the excess, everything that is going more and kind of stay on your way. And then we can finish with the blue one. Oh, by the way, if you want to know the size of this, I forgot to mention, it is about 10 and a half inches. Uh, unfortunately, this ruler, uh, inches, no, sorry centimeters unfortunately this ruler doesn't have inches but i bet the conversion is pretty easy to find it's kind of like a little size of my hand a little like from the diagonal maybe 
yeah or like maybe two pinkies <laughs> this size of thing is gonna look good in your car so we're gonna make a simple knot and we're gonna finish with the blue so one go up and around this one was the last yarn we used so we're just gonna hold in the back just go around it so it doesn't loosen up and then you go around again this is where we started so we're gonna hold and then go around just to make it firm so we're gonna go to the second round shoot for each one of the sizes up and down if you notice I'm always like moving and going so it helps me to make it like really firm so the only thing we're gonna so if you notice we have some extra piece of wood and this is really good because if you finish the mandala really close to the end anything that happens can like slide the last piece of yarn and your whole piece is gonna be destroyed so if you notice every one of my mandalas they have a little space at the end so it makes sure that you your mandala is not gonna get destroyed so how are we gonna do this once you get close to the end maybe a half an inch clo uh, closer to the end of the stick we're just gonna go to the last round and we're gonna go around around and around until you get really close to the end of the stick you don't need to touch the end because it's gonna destroy but you see you have just like enough distance so uh, this is not gonna slide I don't have glue right now but I, ha I like to use the liquid white glue uh, in a little bit in the end of one of the the parts but it does uh, and it, it helps kind of like to glue all the yarn together but that's totally fine if you don't have it this right now so once you reach the end you come back rolling to the back come back because if you're gonna move to the other side can you see like the weird space that gives so we want to avoid this space so we're gonna go back in the same stick and then this is gonna be stick to the the uh, the last yarn so gonna go around 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 get really close to the edge and then you come back from the same path and then you move to the next one so you go around 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 really close to the end but then you come back in the same path and then the same thing since is a beginner it has like a really different thickness just because it's a chopsticks and not a, a normal barbecue or any other wooden stick so that's why it has like this this different sizes but it's not a problem it's a charm then you go around 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 really close to the edge and then come back in this thing and since I told you like so this is where we start so I want to finish right here as well so we're just gonna go around here cut I like to cut a longer piece at the end just because I make more knots and then we can i don't know if you can see it well but i just go around one time just to stop and then i go around like a couple other times just to make sure this is not gonna open and destroy sometimes if i start with a longer piece i like just to make a knot in between them kind of like this one if you don't have enough room to make a knot Sometimes I like to open the yarn like this, grab a few pieces from each one of the sizes. You see, I'm ripping apart. And then I like to make a, a knot in the front and a knot in the back. It doesn't matter the way you finish, as long as really strong and you make sure it's not gonna open the yarn because sometimes the yarn gets older. And I had so many pretty pieces that got destroyed because I didn't end it correctly. So just make like, I don't know, five knots at the end. Since you're splitting the yarn, it's not going to look chunky. It's just going to look like strong. And then you can come here, get really close 
and then you just cut it over here and cut all the extra pieces that are here too so for example here see so we don't have any extras and this is our mandala how it looks like super cute kind of a little sister from this one um, what you can do now you just grab another size of yarn just enough that you will be able so it all depends where we're gonna put it so for example this one is for my door so I just made a little loop here but sometimes I'm gonna hang some more higher so I just leave like a lot of yarn at the end so I'll have enough room to make a space and so since I'm gonna make it for my car uh, I'm just gonna like cut something like this I don't know no measurements Uh, you choose as one of the sizes because mandalas even though you try to make m the most symmetric possible it always have some distortion so if you look as a square you can see that this part is a little bit higher than this one so you just try to find uh, a way that in your eyes looks symmetric I think like this looks really symmetric so I'm gonna use mm, this part to hang so and then I just put around like this I find the middle and then I just make a couple knots at the end if you have any other ideas or tricks that I can use to hang my mandala I'm always open for suggestions and improvements but for me this way has been working really well haven't had any issues like hanging a mandala like this so and then I'm gonna end loose ends because I can just go to my my mirror in the car and just make the knot from the size I want but if you want to like just make some knot you can just make like a little knot at the end you know and then you cut here from the size you want and then you have like a place to hang somewhere and I think that's it for, and also, so you can also make a bunch of these little ones and kind of put all together, you know, that would look so cute. Like put one here and another one here. It's gonna have like a little things that you can use for baby rooms or for your garden and different things. But yeah, I hope that you like, this is a really nice gift that you can make or, or even to decorate your own car. So if you have any questions, if you wanna, uh, Send me a picture of the ones you you created. I'm gonna be really happy to see and Hopefully we're gonna be able to have more streams like this It was really fun explaining a more informal way and actually showing how I do it and make my own mandalas So I hope that you have a good day Bye